time for the moment you've been waiting for. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jumbo Too Crazy back with another video. In this video, I will be showing you the game breaking build, the Demi God, the Glitch God, whatever you want to call him. He's changing the game. The 99 overall Steph Kirby will be the best point guard in 2K21. Now, let's get straight into the video. No more wasting your time. Since this is a Steph Curry build, you know you have to go with the point guard. Right-handed, number three for Allen Iverson, just in case you don't know the greatest player of all time. The pie chart we go with is none other than the yellow and green. The even pie chart, not the little offset one, the even one. This one we picked the obvious, the most speed. And you see here, I already set it up with 22 shooting badges, 21 playmaking, seven defensive badges. And I'm gonna finish, but we ain't, we ain't worried about the one finishing because anybody could finish in 2K21. It's not gonna make no difference. As you can see, so far we have an 87 speed, 86 acceleration. We're gonna be the fastest point guard on the court. Nobody's gonna be able to guard us. Obviously, pick the defined shape, another thing, height. You had to go with 6 4 so you could potentially guard the other shooting guards and small fours on the court. Hopefully, you don't get body. Minimum weight, minimum wingspan. And you have to go with the sharp shooting takeover. The best takeover in the game. It's going to make you shoot lights out just like who? Steph Curry. And now for the badges, for finishing, we have, you could pick anything really. I'm going to a consistent finisher because the layup this year is looking real iffy. For shooting, I have to go with the obvious difficult shots, Hall of Fame. Green Machine, Hall of Fame. Range Extender, Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame. Dead Eye, of course, Hall of Fame. And then anyone you pick, I went with Corner Specialist because usually I'm sitting in the corner sometimes, so... Now for playmaking, you're going to want to go with the obvious badge for playmaking. It's Quick First Step Hall of Fame. Then it's Handles for a Day's Hall of Fame. And then despite what majority of y'all might think, Unpluckable Hall of Fame actually works. So I'm going with that one. This demo, I'm just testing around some badges to see what I like. So I'm going with Tight Handles Hall of Fame, Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame, and then I'm gonna go with diamond. Now for the defensive badge, we're going with the obvious clamps on gold, pick dodger on silver, and intimidator on silver. They said they nerfed intimidator this year, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's still gonna be the same overpowered badge as it was last year. These are just some highlights showing what the build can do and how crazy it's gonna go. With the right six and the right jump shot, you're gonna be unguardable. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and turn on post notifications.